Hey guys, I've been waiting to make this video for a long time. Because um, about six years ago I saw an amazing video called um, Astrology and Musical Harmony um, by Moshe Dan 9 that YouTube channel. Um, and it's really fascinating because astrology and music's relationship can clearly be identified um, as almost synonymous. I mean, when when the whenever uh, two planets are in harmony on a birth chart, because there's 12 signs, uh, the piano key and the, the musical notes, if you place that on a birth chart, ha also happen to be in harmony. And whenever the music is sad, like a minor chord, um, astrologically it's also a negative trait. So let's just start with the easiest ones, and I just have about four examples to show you. Um, so, the space in between the, the, the notes from C to C is what we're looking at. And so that there's 12 spaces, and then of course we just put the 12 zodiac signs overlapping on that, okay? This is a C, this is a major chord, C, and then E. So Mars would be in the C position and Venus would be in E, so these are in harmony. As this is called the trine in astrology when it's 120 degrees. So it sounds harmonious right here, right there, all right? Uh, but when you read the definition, it says this aspect possesses a soft energy. A trine allows for the easy flow of energy between two planets. This aspect is generally favorable and light and joyous in nature. And this is the major chord itself. So that's the C chord, and you know, it's obviously in har harmony with itself. Now let's uh, see what a sad chord is. This is what we call a um, a minor chord, and it's a square in astrology. Sorry, I'm just going to hide those still. So from C to E flat would be a minor chord. Instead of happy major, this is minor. This is the whole minor chord. And then back to the major. You know? So, and here's what a square in astrology means. It's friction. The energy surrounding a square is forceful, intense, and power-laden. Um, the risk to the individual influenced by a square is to ignore this aspect's unmistakable energy. So, also, when two people have planets like that together, there could be friction sometimes. I mean, not to say minor chords are bad and um, major chords are good, but there's clearly a, a more harmonic tone when it's not a minor chord just you know so once again astrology um, corresponds to musical harmony well now let's do another one this is when the um, notes are a complete opposite size it's probably the most inharmonious <laughs> if that's a word um, in this context inharmonious chord ever so C and then F sharp Oh, shit. <laughs> you know, that doesn't sound harmonious in any way, shape, or form. And this is when two planets are opposing each other. So there's a huge challenge there. So, um, and Wikipedia says, in tonal music, the tritone is normally resolved inward to a F major third. So... Oh, wait, no, I was wrong. But anyway, um, let's just keep reading. Uh, in this, in astrology, the opposition indicates um, opposing forces. Uh, Mars's energy may find itself at war with Venus's golden globe, for example. More often than not, however, an opposition is a poster child for conflict resolution. So in music, it's saying this chord normally resolves to the major third. So it's just like astrology, music is also telling it in your ear to resolve. And that's just the vibrations of the universe, guys just how it goes and now let's do the suspended fourth so this aspect demands adjustments be made so let's see what C to F only sounds like and then to resolve it would be back to E it's major third so um, that's what it means astrologically as well it's like oh Oh, something has to be, it's like not done, you know? It doesn't feel done until you resolve it. Okay? 
And I think this is a clear, clear example of how astrology and music and the vibrations of all, the whole universe and what reality is made up of is all following a, a pattern. And when you look up your birth chart, you can see if you have a lot of struggle in your life, see if you have a lot of oppositions, then in a sense, your, your cord, your own personal cord is your, your per personality, eh, personality, uh, that's a book, astrology, personal chart. Um, yeah, I just, I just find it very, very interesting. Um, his video is pretty much like mine too. I just wanted to put it on my channel too, because it's just truth. He's, it's not something he's copywriting. It's just something that exists innate in nature. Okay, um, I hope y'all found that interesting. Um, there you have it.